Let's have a silence of the prayer. Father God, we want to thank you as a national unity platform for having brought us from all distances who have moved into this field. Thank you for your protection. And we pray for your wisdom and guidance in this press conference. And whatever we speak here blesses your name. And whatever we receive from here is parted unto where we come from. King of glory, may your Holy Spirit come down and be with us today and forever. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, please be seated. I remember you, you lead the church in Kasese. Oh, that he was a pastor before he backslid. Anyway, um, good morning once again for coming. Um, this is pretty much our first press conference of the year. Uh, we thought we would uh, share a few things. Uh, we are delighted to have uh, many of our leaders here. Uh, let me take note of, uh, firstly, all the councillors in this place. All councillors kindly stand. People power. Power, 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 <laughs> uh, okay, those are LC5 councillors. Uh, speakers, I saw a couple of speakers. People power! Our power! Our power! People power! NUP! Everywhere! Everywhere! NUP! Even here! NUP! <laughs> that, that noise maker there is the speak of Nakawa. <laughs> He makes good noise. Okay, we also uh, saw uh, the speaker of uh, KCCK. Now, we're going to load the speaker. <laughs> Authority speaker. Okay, uh, do we have any mayors here? Okay, no yet. Uh, LC5 chairpersons, uh, the one of Tambala is here. People power. Power power. Power power. People power. Everywhere. 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 Okay, uh, members of parliament, we'll begin with members of parliament, then we shall end with Abachise like me. <laughs> <laughs> members of parliament, I'm told there's a difference, Abachise. People power. Our power. Our power. People power. 
Everywhere. Okay. Uh, our teacher. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Yes, I left out a very important element. Flag bearers uh, who were not declared winners, but they carried our flag. Uh, please stand as well. Okay. Uh, NEC members, any NEC members here? Of course, many of you fall in both categories. Uh, you are a NEC member? Okay, it's good to see you all. Uh, it's good to see you, Mr. Kunga, Chairman Nyanzi. Kunga, Chairman Kunga. Kunga. It's good to mix around young people. You grow much younger. Um, but now, when we are coming, we are going to be Okay, we are going to be here. We are going to be Where is Wallace? Journal. <laughs> <laughs> you know some of you, you buy suits and then you leave the tag. This one, eh? But even these small, smaller things, eh? we get to talk about them. All right, um, it's good to see you all, uh, leaders, food soldiers, people power, our power, our power, people power, NUP, everywhere, everywhere. NUP. Uh -huh. So we have food soldiers, then I don't know, marine soldiers, air soldiers. We want to welcome you all and to welcome the media. Um, thank you for coming. So we could uh, share one or two things as we get started with the air. Oh yes, we, we also have uh, particular groups that uh, joined us this morning. Uh, we have a team from Northern Uganda, kindly stand. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> that man there is called Sebastian Ogon. Uh, we are glad you could join us and we commiserate with you again the passing of your grandmother, Sebastian. Thank you, Chairman, for leading the team uh, all the way from Northern Uganda. We have seen the formidable team uh, from Northern Uganda. Okay, we also have a team from Western Uganda. People power! Our power! Our power! People power! Ibanda Kunga! Kunga! Kamwende Kunga! Kunga! Imbarara Kunga! Kunga! Chitakwenda Kunga! Kunga! People power! Our power! Kunga! 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 Uh, we also have a team from Teso, Teso sub region. Okay, thank you, and uh, we also. Eh? Okay, that's what gives some region. We also take note of the presence of our deputy president in charge of Western Uganda, the Honorable Jolly Mukisha. Thank you for joining us as well. <laughs> All right. Um, 
as you notice, last year was one of those years. Uh, lots of crazy things happened. It was a bittersweet year. You know, there's things we thank God for. One, that we are alive. It, uh, it is not something we take for granted because, you know, the kind of conditions under which we operate, people die, people are killed mysteriously, and so on. So we thank God we are alive to continue doing what we have got to do. Uh, but as you know, there's so many challenges we carried forward to this new year. We have many of our people that are still in jail, over flimsy, in some cases, non-existent cases, you know, trumped up charges and all of that. Uh, it is our duty as leaders, as members of NUP, as Ugandans, to fight for the freedoms of these people. All right? Uh, because, you see, today it is them, tomorrow it is any of us. Whether you are a leader or a foot soldier or whatever the case might be, any of us is a candidate for jail over trumped up charges. So we, we must keep pressing for the freedom of these are people and so it is a charge to us at all our levels you know uh, as leaders as members as ugandans this is not something that we want to leave to just nup because as you have seen many times we have had people who have come here and they say for me i've never even been involved in politics you know uh, but i was jailed for i don't know how long or my person was locked up uh, so we we all must with unanimity say this has got to stop. And the more we demand, the more pressure we exert on those that are holding on to our people. We must direct our energies and uh, our focus and our demands onto those who are oppressing us. That's very important. Sometimes the regime, you know, that uh, you will point at this councillor, you will point at this MP and say, but you, she has got a little child and she's saying I must secure the future of my child. And then she gets locked up. And these are the few that are known about. There is many others that are not known about. Uh, they should be concerned too. Because as we speak, they are not sure if the money they save in NSSF is safe. And so I've heard them say, hey, but wait a minute. And now they're speaking out. I see them on social media. I see them at functions. I see them on WhatsApp groups expressing concern. And we've been telling them, look, this is going to do step. Everyone, for as long as there is bad leadership in our country, nobody will be spared. You might think you are safe in your corner. You are not. It's only a matter of time. And so that's why we keep saying that for us, this, this should go beyond just us as a party. That every Ugandan should be concerned. You might say the people being arrested today are NUP supporters. Tomorrow your father, your brother, or whatever, will be the one picked up. And then now you'll also begin to speak out. So don't wait for that time. It is important that we demand for justice, regardless of who it is for or against. Truth must be spoken, regardless who is speaking it. You know. Uh, and so what is right must be pursued. And so I want to encourage the elite, who for a long time have been saying these issues here do not concern us so much. They do. Wake up, smell the coffee. And, and, and you see, you cannot fix these things piecemeal. You cannot fix NSSF alone. You cannot fix police alone. You cannot fix the judiciary alone. We have got to fix the country. And so that is the rallying call for all of us as a people, as Ugandans. We, we must do this. We must get involved in one way or another. Now, getting involved does not mean you must run for a political position or that you must come on a podium here at NUP and speak. But wherever it is that we are, Let's make do of the platforms that we have to fight for a better country. Otherwise, all of us will be cooked. Of recent, I have seen, and I think it is some of the elite generally, complaining about the poor state of our roads, especially here in the city. They say, you see, every weekend we are taking our cars to the garage because the roads are terrible. Why are the roads terrible? This financial year that we are wrapping up, State House alone has been consuming 2.8 billion shillings a day in one day. Because the initial budget that was allotted to them was about 600 billion. But they kept, you know, returning for supplementaries up to about 450 billion shillings. So over a trillion shillings. You know, that you will speak up. 
out, try to emphasize this issue, they say, ah, no, you sit down. That issue is not on the order paper. We can deal with it. It is an issue concerning Uganda. So the, the sooner we realize that all of us are concerned and must be concerned about these issues, the better. So mine really is to, to charge Ugandans. Of course, to charge us as leaders, as members of the national unity. We have a unique responsibility that many Ugandans, some of whom are not even members of our party, they look up to us. Oh, yes, they do. Including folks within the NRM. When we are seated in parliament, some of our colleagues are gross on the other end. They will write a note and say, now, Honorable Senyumi, please raise this issue. Me, when I raise it, they will deal with me at the NRM Secretariat. So they are looking up to us. And so we, we must take up that responsibility as the option and do what we have got to do. So our hope is that this year will be a year for all of us to engage another gear at all levels. This is not a responsibility of just a few. The elected leaders have got a role to play. And we must play that role, colleague leaders who are elected like I was elected. We must play that role because Ugandans expect us to use the platforms that we have. Parliament, the different councils, mayors, LC5 chairpersons, councillors, speakers, and all of that. We must use those platforms to push for a better country. That's Uganda, what Ugandans expect of us. But I must say that you don't have to have a position. You have a responsibility too. Let's play that role. The, the change that we are pushing for is not only going to take elected leaders. As you can see, we keep fighting for our space, even in parliament. We produce reports and someone is saying, no, you will not read it, and so on. And, and so everybody must do what they have got to do. The liberation that has happened in this country is that we often talk about out. It has not just selected leaders involved. In fact, sometimes you would see ordinary folks standing to the occasion. So my point is, all of us have got a role to play. Let's play that role without fear or favor, without making excuses. As leaders who are elected, as political party leaders, NUP, as members of NUP, as foot soldiers. By the way, foot soldiers, I need to encourage you. Never underestimate your ability and your potential. You're not just a soldier, as I've heard some of you say. No, you are Ugandan. You are a stakeholder. And so, your, your voice matters. So don't say, for me, I was not elected. I was not a flag bearer. You are a stakeholder. You are a Ugandan. So don't underestimate your potential and your ability. So our hope is that uh, we'll push some more this year, 2023. Uh, for uh, media, uh, they keep saying translate into Uganda for our news bulletin. Uh, we'll have to speak a few other languages, I believe, so that uh, we see how we connect. Anyhow, I'm going to go with the government. I'm going to go with the government. I'm going to go with the government. I'm going to go with Ruachi, Makwa Garan Chuka Chuka, see one song in the Layun, the Yuna. So, people that are going to tell you, Iranga, a chat what they eat Catala. Ovuna is what? Ovokol is so catching no plan to Guanga Ferino, Vitera Iranga, Feku, any people come and to Gunomaka, but it's time to say, Vida Vidim Musatu, Tuagara, Okongeza Mugia, Unsongazino, is with it at the Lan, Tucha in Avant of Fivanji, Bali Makomeda, Awatari Musango. Abamba kulembeze nga basegiri nyase wanyana Abalala sipa kulembeze wawa mobilizer ziba fewa machete wa rashidi segudia Ba olivia lutaya Hapa kama ntizi njaga la ikuanga liangili tedele Nila kanza nyeka pati kanga katono Nekufuka msango So tuina okuongeza ama lobo oziga fefena Okuma anja abandu wa feba Fena nga na Uganda Chino chidi kufi nga hapa kulembeze Kuba member wa fe, wa food soldier Nene wa na Uganda alieyo Tueta kakupe ila muagizi wa NUP Nene chichamu, chima chichamu Iranga fenatu watu ino chimu Milia nitu gama antineta Chino, chino kupe ila kone kumo Fena fena Ngaba Nancy Kuwanga, onizo gamba lero Bitu kako wa NUP fena bina tutu kako Nao vige nda kujia joli mnani Aba ndo haba zeba tibuwa Aba musina wa wakizi wa fe November kumina mnani kumina muenda Abantu abo mbati wanga 
Nivyo kuru ndo woli ya wovi Wovi ya wufuzi Tabidi konyo Nina tibwa Kuluaji Wabukule mbeze obubi So fena fena kitu kakatako Okuwa atirawa mu Kusonga zino Enda kuzino nina vienda ba Ebizi za muka amani Kupanga tuina abantu wa fabamu Awa wadeba looza Anti abi nevi nitu vino Nivyo chuka chuka Biyawa wa NUP Biyawa wa kule mbeze Biyawa na wa boda boda Obachi Na kipama yinti na wuchi wakuwa atako Banabaita eri Kubanga Evitongo levijo Ina vijia sigalanga Vili mufurugu Fuwa zilonga zoro kule mbeze Obutu tuwalo Vichatu lisa kakanja Bukulanga wa bukula Kuli omu Ajia kuloza Kukambu kwe fugabi Presidenti wa fazaa Chogere mirunge juwe la Timuja chuli la Kusekeza nti buli omu Aino kufungiza Buli omu Aino kueta ba Munso honga zino Abantu bafe Sanji zino Na dala wana mkambala Papa debe mulugunya Kungudu MP Ante mamoto kaka fe Buli weekend Tu veda mkala jini Sanji zino zonazo Nazo nda baba deba Sili singa Waka mba Ewe vinti vyo kufuze vyo Katibide kera abo Awaka lukubi buwe miko Boba vyo gere ko Nika tinaobe mulugunya Tia mamoto kaka fe Buli weekend Tu veda mkala jini Kuwange ngudu mbi Ngudu luachi mbi Fuga mbi State House Elimu wa mwamu seven Neba neba Ave da muna ye Bulika naku Eno financial Yaje tuli mkumaliliza Baba deba koze sa Ovu umbi Bobili Mumbili yonu lunana 2.8 billion Batia Kuwange elimu budget Bawe wa Lali wali umbi Nalu kaga Nemu supplementary Baze vei yongera Vei yongera Vei yongera Paka Luzisuse Mukatabalika Trillion Elabu wala mu Wala wanti bulika naku 2.8 billion Zikula chizu banai Zikula chizu banai Zikula chizu banai Na ye Wabeda na wakule mbeze nga bo Sida Bali teka kutuwele meza tutia mbukule mbeze Sende tezija genda kukula mbudo Kubiavula mune bilala Anka tuzete likele Anigo tiso ulo gula Hawa kule kule nyo kelele ya Kule kwe viti Evi te vitaka saba na Uganda So Chino chitu la ganti Fena fena Chitu kakatako Gaba na Uganda Kuhi msama lobo zika Fetu kama mendi neta E chimala chimala Ila fenga NUP Tuka nanti kuno waka Kwa standi setu waka lo kwe mkonge za gia Gaba kule mbeze Tuino vuna njizo wafi Mivalo onda Hawa ntu watu wa platform zezo Tuzikoze se Nina awe Ata ina chifocho olimu Muna nge nawe likira wakwe nyoma Uwoli futu soja Uwoli muwagizi Toka manti anze Jasi ndi mia futu soja Anze ndi mia muwagizi Si ina nyo chifo Tu weta kakube na na chifo Ukuhimu sedo wuzi liyo kumusonga Enkuru Ezidu mwaba na Uganda So Fenatu kwa atila wama Tula venga Ensonge na ate Tuchiteka kuleve dako Aba ntuma nubale mekube ele yunga Paumude muko Ngabeba kaniba fluta Nida Tuongezemu um, I want to invite uh, a few leaders to, to address us over a few things as briefly as we, as we possibly can. Uh, let, let me invite Chairman, uh, our team leader from, from Northern Region, just come and speak to us in one minute. to hear the voice from Northern Uganda to be sure that uh, all is well that time. Could you come, let, let, let the, the team that you came with from Northern Uganda come and be behind you as you speak to us in uh, two minutes. I have ambushed you, but um, as a leader, you're always ready. Thank you so much, the Secretary General.
the Secretary General, the spokesperson. Chairman, the head of Kuga. Vice President, Western Uganda, members of parliament, councillors, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I'm by the name Samuel Okot. I'm the chairperson of the National Peace Platform for Chile. But I'm acting as a chairperson of Northern Uganda. Uh, Ugandan, thank you so much. Uh, you have heard what uh, the Secretary General said. Uh, in Northern Uganda, uh, before I forget, uh, in the sad note, we lost our comrade, who is also a NEC member and uh, our former flag bearer for the Moro by election, uh, Honorable the late uh, Tolit Akecha. Uh, we are in darkness, that side, and uh, it's not easy. Uh, but uh, going forward, like uh, the spokesperson said, we are still in the struggle. I must tell all Ugandans and all the Northerners that the struggle continues. No giving up, come shine or rainfall. Uh, there are a lot of problems the country is facing. The spokesperson talk about, I don't want to talk about. You people who have been in Northern Uganda, 